The sling is one of the first and most ancient projectile weapons used as far back as the Neolithic period and likely in the Upper Paleolithic era. Slingers played an important role in the armies of the past, such as the Persian, Greek and Roman armies, and were considered to be as effective if not better than the early bowmen at the time, with a higher range and accuracy. The use of the sling is documented on all settled continents and in almost any historical conflict in the world, from Native American Apache tribes to Middle Age monarchs. Slings were traditionally constructed from a variety of natural materials, twisted, braided or knotted fibers from plants and animals. Sling mm -hmm. construction varied wildly by culture and mm -hmm. access to local resources. Native American examples were often crafted from leather thongs. Incan slings were made from intricately woven llama wool. Modern enthusiasts still construct slings from natural and synthetic cords and are so simple that they could be made by anyone at home. Don't get any ideas. Today, slings are still made by traditional means in many parts of the world, such as Peru, where slings are constructed from traditional techniques. The sling is extremely simple, cheap, easy to make and lethally effective at surprisingly long range. The overall length of a sling can vary. A length of about 60 to 100 centimeters was typical. The sling itself consists of a finger loop at one end and a release cord to be released at the right moment. The pouch or cradle was diamond or net shaped with a possible slit to hold the projectile more firmly. This simple weapon has three components, the sling, sling round and a user. The sling harnesses the simple but powerful idea of force, extending the length of the user's arm. It allows the slinger to achieve much more than with hand alone, offering greater speed, range and power. Through a controlled flow of motion through the arm, energy is passed through the sling to the sling projectile and beyond as it is let go. It doesn't look like much, however, slings are deadly weapons that have been tested in war for centuries. The sling had a range of up to 400 meters, though estimates of the effective range vary wildly and was deadliest at close range such as 120 meters. Slingers were light skirmishers and unarmored, sometimes equipped with a small shield in their spare hand. This allowed them to move quickly, even faster than bowmen, and harass the enemy. A slinger could carry up to three slings, each suiting a different range, and a pouch to store the sling rounds. Conservative estimates suggest an experienced slinger could make up to seven shots per minute, perhaps 10 to 12 a minute on the higher end of the spectrum. Sling rounds or bullets could be spherical, biconical or ovioid and were of stone, molded clay or cast lead construction. The weight of these missiles varied widely with estimations that they could be as large as 445 grams, as large as a fist, with most common sling round finds ranging between 19.8 grams and 50 grams. Shape, size and construction had a huge impact on performance and accuracy. And, like other forms of ammunition, consistency was key, with each culture appreciating different sizes and shapes. Sling rounds could reach speeds of 95 to 160 kilometers an hour, which depended greatly on the skill of the user. In Greece, sling rounds have been found bearing inscriptions with insulting phrases in order to taunt their enemies, such as take that or catch. Romans used phrases such as ouch, Pompey's backside and get pregnant with this, which would literally add insult to injury. Some nations such as the Romans also cut holes into the stones. Thought to be poison holes at first by historians, but later shown to produce a whistle when flying overhead. This intended to affect the morale of their enemies as hundreds of bullets rained down all around them, inflicting the fear of death or severe injury. As we don't have any willing volunteers to test the stones out on nowadays, we rely on ancient texts referring to the slings capabilities and all the remains of the dead. 
Vegetus Flavius, a Roman military expert and the author of a highly respected military strategy and weaponry book, stated that This passage suggests that sling stones can kill through non-penetrating blunt force trauma. Armor can sometimes prevent injury, especially at long range, but the energy of the impact can sometimes transfer into the body with lethal effect. Slings have been compared to that of a .44 Magnum revolver with its momentum having been analyzed in modern experiments. Results showing a stopping force nearly as much as the revolver. While the skull was a favored target, a large percentage of impacts would undoubtedly fall on the torso and limbs. An archaeological find in Guam supposedly showed a skull and bones completely shattered by impact, with a biconical sling stone still embedded in the wound. In a classical medical treatise, Salsus included instructions for extracting lead and stone sling missiles from the bodies of wounded soldiers. It's not hard to believe that a missile weighing 50 grams or more, traveling at 160 kilometers, could cause such severe injuries. Impacts from sling projectiles could fracture a wide range of human bone, including at long range, and could easily embed into unprotected skin. Sling stones are capable of penetrating the skull, with the potential to kill with a single well-placed shot. The potential for sling projectiles to cause soft tissue blunt trauma appears to be likely based on historical accounts. During the Roman era, Valeric slingers, mercenaries for hire, were particularly sought after, mm -hmm. having mastered the sling from a young age. Mm -hmm. In antiquity, the Balearic Islands were best known for the deadliest slingers in the Mediterranean, capable of the highly prized 100 mile per hour swings. Though other cultures achieved similar notoriety with the sling in other conflicts, Slingers were recruited into armies as auxiliaries, as a supplement to the main army. In ancient warfare, ranged units were responsible for sending showers of missiles into enemy ranks to thin the line and break up the opposing shield wall, causing confusion and a shock to morale, and to tempt the opposing infantry into an attack prematurely. Ranged units were sometimes positioned on the flanks so that the enemy advance could be met with a bale of missile attacks. Skirmishers acted as light infantry with their light arms and minimal armor. They could run ahead of the main battle line, release a volley of projectiles and retreat behind their main battle line before the clash of the main forces. Skirmishers could also be used effectively to surround opposing soldiers in the absence of friendly cavalry and to ultimately harass the enemy army. If this was successful, the enemy army would retreat and the battle would be won. Slings were inevitably phased out of army usage with the improvement of armors and more sophisticated weaponry in the Middle Ages. Though slings have lost their deadly reputation in modern times, this primitive weapon managed to accrue a rich history. In modern times, slings are still used to herd and protect livestock from predators. The sling even found use in the Spanish Civil War, where some soldiers used slings to launch grenades into enemy territory. In the Balearic Islands, the tradition continues to this day with official modern sling competitions. Thanks for watching.